Welcome, here is Gerson, and today we are going to talk about VMware vSphere distributed switch. First, we are going to need to see that distributed switch is not available in all versions of vSphere. Only vSphere Enterprise Plus and vSphere with Operations Management Enterprise Plus have distributed switch. VSphere standard does not have distributed switch. When you create a host, automatically vSphere create a standard switch. You can see here. Here is your physical switch. Here your host. You have at least one physical NIC here. It's VNIC 0. Then you have automatically created for you open link port group with one open link and the port group management to handle management traffic we will automatically create it with NIC with this function this is the default for every single host you create if you create a, a second host you cre the second host has a physical NIC it, it will have um, Blink part group, an uh, blink part, uh, virtual part management, uh, virtual NIC for management. This work, uh, another one features you can create in your environment. If you have a small environment and a few hosts, a standard switch, switch will work. That's okay and fine for you. But if you have a, a large environment with uh, hundreds of hosts and thousands of VMs this became complicated because you have uh, in many cases VLANs and special configurations for storage and so forth and, it, and with large environment this became very uh, tricky to handle and to do the management so for larger environments we recommend you the centered distributed switch which is almost the same was a little difference. You still have your physical switch, you still have your physical NICs, then you have the hosts which open link parts and then you move it here to one management plane. So every host on net your network are connected here on a single management plane. This image will made it clear for you. This is your hosts with uh, standard switch you can hear every single standard switch which belongs to every host and the same scenario with vSphere distributed switch so every switch is connected to a single plane so you do the configuration only once when you move or add host and move the VMs across your environment everything is already set in your environment okay so here we are going to use the standard uh, vSphere client for you see here you will have our host with the vSphere standard suite already created for us it has one physical NIC one part group one kernel part which, which is belong to the, uh, to the host and the standard management part which has the IP of the host so this is the full to every single host you created here on distributed switch you have nothing because we needed to create this host okay to create the, uh, the vSphere distributed switch we are going to move to the web client so this is more usable interface today since the traditional vSphere client is going to be deprecated here so you go to your, your data center and choose the networking okay so what you're going to do now now we came here and then click here distributed switch and click new distributed switch 
we can accept the, just the full name or we can create a name that fits our needs okay here we can choose the version of your distributed suite for this particular tutorial we are going to, to choose 5.1 click next here are the full links network and the full part group we are going to accept this default but you also can change according to your needs or you can change it later and next okay you can check it here and then finish is being created here okay it's completed now what I'm going to do is come here so here is our distributed switch it has nothing so the first thing we need to do here is to add hosts we're going to add a, a host to our distributed switch we click here and then we add our host okay here we click next here is our options we can we're going to migrate everything from our host then we click here next here we have just one physical nick here so we're going to a single link we're going to choose auto here you can see then we have two VM kernel so we're going to assign a part group to those kernels also we're going to choose our default and here again the full part group okay click next we can see here that is no impact in your our OSCSI environment and then click next so there is no VMs or network adapters to migrate click next okay so here is the resume you have can create finish here is being created here our distributed switch okay it's completed if you go back here to our vSphere client we can see here that the vSwitch 0 that was created standard is now completely empty and the distributed switch which was empty was now completed populated with our choices okay so now you can come here and just remove or you may leave the standard switch here there's no difference but you can come here and remove your standard switch okay i hope you have enjoyed this, tut uh, this tutorial and hope you see you next thank you very much